the Hockey Jersey by J.L. Richardson with Eva Perron. Illustrations by Chelsea Charles. On the day of the first hockey game, snow covers the trees and the road to the arena in thick, puffy whiteness. Karima rushes into the rink, carrying the bag her neighbor gave her, the one who taught her to skate on the pond outside her home, the one whose jersey hangs on her wall. Inside the change room, Camilla pulls on a brand new pair of shin pads, and Hannah slides on red socks that her brother brought home from his first year at college. Sam wiggles on hockey pants, sliding their fingers over the patch their grandmother stitched on with careful crooked hands. Juliet tugs and tightens the straps on her chest guard. At the end of the bench, Winona laces her skates, determined to get them just right, all by herself, for the very first time. The change room is full of noises as the players prepare for the first game, zippers opening wide, bags scraping across the floor, players grunting and twisting laces and straps while the Zamboni machine hums and whirs outside the door. No one says a word as they put on their equipment and glance around the room, and Karima wonders and worries if everyone is thinking the same thing in the cool of the change room, if everyone feels awkward and strange today. Is it something about the way I look? Is it my hair, my hands, my height? Is it something you know or don't know about me? Or is it something else? Are you wondering if I can skate or if I can shoot? Because I can. When Coach Sylvie swings the door open, when she enters the change room with careful steps, the players turn their attention away from one another to the heavy bag she plunks on the floor. Coach Sylvie crouches down and thrusts her hand inside the bag, pulling out brand new jerseys, brilliant red, deep black, and bright white, just like the kind Karima's neighbor once wore. And all at once, as they stare at their new uniforms, something magical begins to happen. They all begin to talk. It starts with low murmurs that bubble and grow louder and louder. Until the change room is full of voices talking and laughing as they stretch their arms into the fabric, helping whoever they can. And when they are all dressed in their new hockey jerseys, when the helmets and gloves are on as well, Karima feels something different about herself and her teammates, something she can't quite explain as they head towards the ice. In the bleachers, the players see friends and family dressed in red, black, and white. Camilla's sister stands, Hannah's brother points, Juliet's mom wave and Sam's father claps. And when Winona's aunties cheer, everyone shouts, including Karima's neighbor, who stands in the bleachers wearing his own jersey, the same number Karima wears now. Go Karima, he yells as she skates around the rink and everyone smiles. Looks like you have a fan, Coach Sylvie says, and Karima nods proudly as her neighbor sits down with her family and with all of the fans. When the players finally gather for the first game of the season, they surround Coach Sylvie and tap their sticks against the ice. And as the sound of the rumbling rhythm rises, Karima feels something big and large growing inside her as she looks at her jersey, 
her neighbor, her family, her coach, and her new teammates. This is more than just a game, as all of the people in red, black, and white smile and cheer loudly as the players huddle closer. This is a whole new kind of family. The end. I hope you enjoyed listening and reading along with me today. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so we can come back tomorrow and read more books. Until next time, bye friends!